solve the differential equation dy by dx is equal to x squared plus xy over x over xy minus x squared in terms of x and y. And now they have given a hint that y is equal to ux, where u is a function of x. Now whenever we have a differential, when, whenever we want to solve a differential equation, uh, the technique is to bring the x's and y's together. Now if you look at this differential equation dy by dx is equal to x squared plus y squared over xy minus x squared, it is not possible to uh, separate the x and y's, x with dx and y with dy. So here we have a hint is given, so this is where you should be starting. So let's look at this hint. So what is given? y is equal to ux that is given. Okay, so let us differentiate this with respect to x. So, so I'll say this implies d by dx of y is equal to, I'm differentiating both sides with respect to x, so d by dx of ux. Okay, so for space, I'm doing like this, okay, to save space. So this implies d by dx of y is nothing but dy by dx is equal to. Now here we have to use the, uh, we have to use the chain rule, okay. Also this is a, so we are differentiating uh, using the chain rule, I can say, well, this is d by dx of u times the second function, which is x, plus d by dx of x times u. So this is simple chain rule. So this implies uh, this is dy by dx is equal to d by dx of u is du by dx. So du by dx times x plus. Now what is d by dx of x? That is nothing but dx by dx over dx. Okay. So what's the change in x for the small change in x? That's 1. So this is 1 times u. So this implies we can say dy by dx is equal to x times, I'm just simplifying this, x times du by dx, x times du by dx plus u. Okay, so this is what we have proved uh, using the hint. So in place of dy by dx, I can put this expression. So let me change color from here. So this implies... So I'm going to put in place of dy by dx, in place of this, I can put this uh, quantity. So I can say that well, this is the x times du by dx plus u is equal to uh, x squared. Okay, now x squared will remain x squared. And in place of y squared, what can I put? We know y is ux, so y squared will become u squared x squared over, this is xy, so this is x times y is ux minus x squared. So let me simplify this, so this is equal to, I can factor out x squared, so I've got 1 plus u squared over the denominator also has x squared common, that is u minus 1. So this x squared and this x squared gets cancelled. Cancelled, so this is u squared plus 1 over u minus 1. Okay, so let's simplify this a little. So this implies x times du by dx plus u. So I'm just rewriting what I've got. This is u squared plus 1 over u minus 1. Now I'm going to move this to the other side. So this becomes, this is equal to u squared plus 1, u squared plus 1 over u minus 1 minus u over 1. So I'm going to multiply both the numerator and denominator. Okay, so let me rewrite. So this becomes... This implies x times du by dx, x times du by dx is equal to 
this let me put this in the bracket so this is u square plus 1 over u minus 1 I'm going to multiply u minus 1 to both the numerator and denominator. So this is u times u minus 1 over u minus 1. Okay, so what happens now? So this implies x times du by dx is equal to u squared plus 1. So the denominators are the same, so I can expand uh, this numerator. So this is minus u squared plus u over u minus 1. So what gets cancelled, this plus u squared and minus u squared gets cancelled. So let me finally write, this is not the final answer, so this is x times du by dx is equal to, this is u plus 1 over u minus 1. Okay, I'll pause the video for a while. I want to do some cleanup and I'll come back. So we stopped here. X times du by dx is equal to u plus 1 over u minus 1. Now we have got, we have reduced this in terms of x and u. So now we can isolate the x's and u's together. So this will become, this implies, so I'm doing a cross multiplication. So this, I hope you understand. This is u minus 1 over u plus 1 du is equal to 1 over x dx. So you can pause this video and think about how what I did. So I just cross multiplied. So this went up. This came down. And x will become, when it came to the other, when it came to the other side, it will become 1 over x. And this dx went up. So this is nothing cross multiplying. Okay, so now you can integrate both sides. So I'm going to do integration. So integration of u minus 1 over u plus 1 du is equal to integration of 1 over x dx. Okay, so this, the next step is a bit tricky. So the integration, this u minus 1, I'm going to write as u plus, u plus 1, take away 2, I'm going to write like this. This is u plus 1 over u plus 1. I hope this step is not that difficult. So du is equal to integration of 1 over x dx. So as you're integrating both sides, you don't need to put constant on both sides. Okay, so let us put a constant only on one side. So this becomes, I'll integrate together. So this is integration of 1 minus 2 over u plus 1 du is equal to integration of 1 over x dx. Okay, so this becomes, so this, you can distribute the integration, so this, let me write one more step, so this integration of 1 du minus integration of 2 over u plus 1 du u plus 1 du is equal to integration of 1 over x dx. So let us integrate both sides. Okay, so this becomes, so this implies integration of 1 du is nothing but u minus 2 times. This becomes integration of 1 over u plus 1 is natural log of u plus 1 uh, is equal to natural log of x plus c, the constant of integration. I put only one const, uh, constant, which is an arbitrary constant. Okay, so now we have got, okay, so let's now substitute, but what do we know? What is u? But u is equal to y over x, because y is equal to ux is given. Okay, so in place of u, we can back substitute y over x because we want to express uh, the solution in terms of x and y. So this is y over x minus uh, 2 times natural log of y over x plus 1 is equal to natural log of x plus c. You're almost there. So this is y over x is equal to I'm taking this to the other side. So this is 2 times 
natural log of this can simplify to y plus x over x plus natural log of x plus c okay so natural log of you can put this as you can also put c as natural log of a okay c is an arbitrary constant and so c can be written as natural log of a so this y over x y over x is equal to natural log of using the log rule can i write this as x plus y the whole squared over x squared times sorry plus natural log of x plus natural log of a okay so this is y over x is equal to now applying the log rule so this is natural log of uh, I can multiply because this is addition of log so you can write this as a times x times x plus y the whole squared over x squared okay so now this x and one this x gets cancelled so we are almost there so this you can say y over x is equal to natural log of a times x plus y the whole squared over x okay so now what can we do so let me write this in the natural log form so natural log of a times x plus y the whole squared over x is equal to y over x a natural log has a base of e so you can write an e here yeah? So from natural log form, you can write this in the exponent form. So we can say, well, this is equal to, this implies a times x plus y, the whole squared over, over x, over x is equal to e to the power y over x, e to the power y over x, writing the exponent form. So now cross multiplying. So this implies a times x plus y, the whole squared is equal to. Uh, you can cross multiply. So you can write this as x times e to the power y over x. So this is the general solution of the uh, differential equation. Uh, y dy by dx is equal to x squared plus y squared over xy minus x squared.